In this video, let's look at the difference between anyone as one word and anyone as two words. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, let's look at the difference between anyone, one word, and anyone, two words. Now, this is an important difference because grammatically, they're different parts of speech, which means how you use them in a sentence is going to be very different. Let's start with anyone, one word. Anyone is an indefinite pronoun. It refers to one person, but not a specific person. So let's imagine there's a crowd of people and these are just any people. We don't know who they are. They're not specific people. So there's this crowd of people and I can say to the crowd as a whole, I can say, does anyone know what time it is? Does anyone know what time it is? So in this case, I'm not talking to a specific person. I want one person to answer the question, but it doesn't matter who answers the question. Another example, I could say anyone can learn how to play the ukulele. Now here, I'm starting my sentence with anyone and I'm not talking to a particular group of people. I'm just talking about people as a whole. So you might consider the group the whole world, in fact. And I'm saying anyone, not a particular person, just any one person, but it doesn't matter who. Anyone can learn how to play the ukulele. Now, as a teacher in a classroom, I commonly ask my students, can anyone answer this question? And in that case, I'm asking if at least one of my students can answer, but it doesn't matter which student. Can anyone answer the question? Now let's take a look at any one as two words. This is an adjective phrase. So how we use it in a sentence is very different. Now the meaning, it refers to one single member or item of a group of people or things. So emphasis on the one single. So when you see it as two words, any one, imagine that one is emphasized. That might help you to remember the difference. So let's say I see this row of beautiful cars and I could say, I'd like to drive any one of those cars, any one of those cars. Now this means I want to drive one specific car but it does not matter which car. Now, another trick to remember the structural difference, when we have any one as two words, this is commonly followed by the preposition of, and then a noun in the plural form. Any one of these cars. Another example, let's say I see this plate of delicious cookies and I could say, I'll have any one of those cookies. So let's see two examples side by side so you can really see the difference. I could say, anyone can come with me. Anyone can come with me. So this is one word. Now notice the structure. I have anyone, one word, and then a verb. Anyone can come with me. This means out of the group of people, any person, it doesn't matter who, it doesn't matter which person, any person, anyone can come with me. Now I could also say any one of you can come with me. Any one of you can come with me. In this case, I want one specific person to come, 
but I don't care who. So that's really the difference. Structurally, you can see they're different. Anyone as one word followed by a verb, but anyone, two words followed by of, and then either a noun or a pronoun. But also it's the meaning. In anyone, I don't care who, but any one of you, I want one specific person. So now you know how to use anyone as one word and anyone as two words. Now, just keep in mind anyone as one word is a lot more common and you'll use it in your speech way more frequently, but it's important to practice so you're comfortable with both and you know when to use each one. So now it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave an example with anyone and an example with any one. So two examples in the comments below so you get comfortable and confident using these. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. How about this one? Anyone can watch my videos. You can watch any one of my videos. Ah, think about those two examples and how they're different and how I'm using anyone and any one. And I can't wait to read your examples in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.